Hello everybody, today we're going to be covering Punnett squares, a very important topic for biology. Um, it has to do with Gregor Mendel's discoveries on how alleles and traits um, get passed down through sexual reproduction in uh, pea plants, was his initial experiment. Um, and so today we're going to go over how they get passed down, how you can determine the probability of getting those traits um, in, in different offsprings, uh, as well as doing the Punnett squares themselves. Um, uh, Punnett squares are made possible by Reginald Punnett, uh, who basically created Punnett squares to allow to visualize uh, Mendel's findings. Um, and so Mendel discovered that there are these things called alleles within, within their DNA um, of the pea plants. And basically they are represented um, by, by two different letters, uh, a, a, a capital letter and a lowercase letter. Um, now the capital letter represents something called the dominant allele, and the lowercase letter represents a recessive allele. Now the dominant alleles push a uh, dominant trait whenever they are present in a pair. Um, and so each of the traits uh, come in pairs of alleles. Um, and so there's three different pairs that can happen uh, with these two alleles, dominant and recessive. And they are um, two uppercase letters, one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter, and two lowercase letters. Now, as you can see, um, these two both have presence of a dominant allele, the uppercase G. Now, since it is a dominant allele, it will allow for um, it to present the trait of the dominant allele. Um, in this example that we'll do in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, pea plants and whether or not it shows uh, as green or yellow. The so green trait is a dominant trait. Um, so green will be dominant, represented by the, by the big G, and the little g will represent yellow. Right? So in these two, the first two, since there is at least one dominant allele in the genotype, which is what makes up the, um, the traits, is so since there's both capital letters, it's going to show green. However, in this third example, since the genotype provides only two lowercase g's, its phenotype, which is what it looks like when you look at it, um, will become yellow because it only has recessive traits. Now, when these two, um, when two different plants sexually reproduce, one of each of the alleles in each pair will get passed down to the offspring to create its offspring's pair. Um, and we can see how it could turn out, not how it will definitely turn out, but how it could turn out uh, with a Punnett square. And the way you use the Punnett square is, in this example, um, say one parent, you write one parent on the top and the other parent on the side. So our first parent is going to be, uh, has a genotype of capital G and capital G, and the other parent has a genotype of lowercase g and lowercase g. So it has a, two phenotypes of green and yellow, and they will be sexually reproducing, and we will see what their offspring's uh, alleles could look like. And the way we do that is we just simply use the rows and columns. We carry down each letter down the rows and down the columns. So for this example, each G, each uppercase G gets carried down into the square, and each lowercase G gets taken across the rows and combined. So you simply move them over and write them in. And now, these are the four possibilities for the offspring's alleles. However, as you see, they are all identical. Therefore, the, it is impossible for the offspring of these two parents to have either uh, be yellow with two lowercase recessive genes or two uppercase uh, dominant uh, alleles. Um, so there's a 100% chance of you having uh, a genotype of capital G and lowercase g, since each of them have that. Now we're going to look at a, a, a second, uh, second example of um, two different parents that will allow for a, a different outcome within the Punnett square. So just as we did the first Punnett square, you're going to carry the um, adults, the parents' um, alleles down into each square. So first we'll do the columns. And then we'll do the rows. So as you can see, we have several combinations this time. 
we have one square that has two uppercase G's, two dominant alleles. We have two squares that has one of each. And we have one final square with uh, two recessive alleles. Now, your teacher may ask you, what is the chances of you having with two parents of, uh, with a genotype of a capital G and a lowercase g, of having the, uh, the offspring be yellow? In this case, since yellow is represented by two lowercase g's, um, the prob to determine the probability of the offspring having uh, the yellow trait, we count up how many squares in the Punnett square has the yellow trait uh, per, uh, shown in its phenotype, uh, which is only one. So we write one. And we count how many of the squares overall in the Punnett square have, uh, there are total, which is four. So one over four is equal to 25.25, which is again equal to 25%, which means there's a 25% chance that with these, given these two parents, you will, will end up with a yellow P pod displaying the double lowercase g alleles. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos.